What's up, y'all? It's your girl Gold Mouth coming at y'all to let y'all know the bonnets are ready. Yes, my website is ready um, again. Um, everything is updated. Um, everything is brand new. Um, so, let me just jump right on into this video. and Let me start by measuring my head just so you guys can see how big my head is around. From ear to ear. From ear to ear. Right here. Oh, I don't even know if y'all can see that, but it says 24 inches. I have a 24 inch head. Um, I've always had a 24 inch head ever since, I don't know, I guess been since I've been grown. Uh, since my head stopped growing. But either way, let me show you guys. Okay, let me first of all show you guys my hair. It's still a mess, y'all. We need to do it the wash day and all of that good stuff, okay? So, this is my my hair, my real hair. And so, I'm showing you this because I'm showing you guys uh, how much hair that this bonnet can fit. So, first of all, we have this Army Fatigue, Army Fatigue, Camouflage, whatever you want to call it, bonnet. On the side, I'm going to have it listed as Camouflage. So, the Camouflage bonnet right here looks like this underneath. It is satin lined, all black satin lined, and you know, has the nice little print on it. And I just pulled my hair down so I can show you guys that this bonnet will indeed fit over my hair. And, um, these bonnets can fit kids as well, these bonnets can fit like. Not little, little kids, but the middle-sized kids, like 9, 10, 11 years old, from all the way to adult. Because I've sold them to little kids, um, and they, you know, their mom said the bunny fit perfect. I actually got videos of, of, of one that was so cute. She's 9 years old, and she fit it. But anyway, this can fit my hair. So let me move right along, try to make this fast, so I won't go, like, overboard. So I'm going to show you another wig. I'm going to show you a wig. I'm going to put this up just in case you got more hair. Now, bonnets, satin lined bonnets are have are made with the intended purposes of, you know, the satin to protect your hair. And I mean your real hair cuz what's the point of you protecting your wig? But if you just want to keep your wig together while you sleep, it can do that too. But the satin is for the sole purpose of keeping your hair, you know, without rubbing on the cotton and all that extraness on your pillowcase. So let me put this wig on just to show you guys that it can hold this much hair as well. Now all these bunnets will be the same size this time. Um, I don't have any like um, different sizes at the moment, but these bunnets will work, you know, with a lot of different size hair. So you see how I fit there? And I'm just putting this like together like this. I'm just gonna, you know, shove it under there. That's it. You know, real simple. Now, I'm just only going to show you this example with this, this one bonnet because all the rest of my bonnets are the same exact size. I'm just going to show you the different um, patterns. You know, so that's how much hair that this wig has on it. Anybody interested in this old raggedy wig, which is my favorite wig of all time, this is a half wig called La Coya. Okay, look it up. Okay, my next wig. This is a synthetic wig, by the way. My next wig is a 100% human, virgin, Remy, whatever, Brazilian, somebody hair. Uh, virgin Remy, something like that. Uh, one of the wigs I made in a video a while back, and, um, you know, it just needed a little TLC. But this wig is, like, way thicker than the other wig. And I'm just going to show you guys that it fits underneath this bonnet too just in case y'all got one of those lace fronts that's glued on that you don't want to take off at night you know because i know some of y'all girls get y'all lace front glued on get it glued on you know so it'll stay on for a little while so but anyway this can uh this bonnet can help you with your process you know put it on what i did i put it on and and it can also make a cute hat but you know <laughs> you can be cute like this Yes, they can be like, you know, one of those berets. But anyway, I put this bonnet on 
and I make it easier for me, I flipped it up in the back so that way I can tuck my hair underneath it. I can pull it down over my hair. You know? And my bonnet is going to hold all of that hair in, girl. All of this hair in. All of this hair. Now, when you buy a bonnet, you are helping me. I must add that you are helping me with um, my medical bills. That's the reason why I'm making these bonnets. So that way I just won't be begging and I'll be giving you something in return for your, your um, you know, purchase. So anyways, now let me take this. You know, it's going to slide out because it really wasn't on my hair because my hair, my new growth is like, oh. And I'm trying not to break off my little hair, baby. So let me take this wig off. Which I got stuck in my head because these combs. This one I made, and got all these combs in it. Usually I would have one like a, uh, you know, a cap so it won't catch my hair. But that was just for the video purposes. Okay, now y'all ready for these wigs? Next wig we got is the infamous Wonder Woman. That's the wig y'all been waiting to see. I mean, waiting to buy. A lot of y'all been saying, I want the Wonder Woman. I want the Wonder Woman. This Wonder Woman is ready. She is ready to go. Yes. She fits the, she's the same size as the first wig that I just tried on. I mean, the first bonnet that I just had. And looks like that on the back. I mean, if you go to the website, I got a lot of, you know, pictures and all of that stuff so you can see the back fully. It looks like this. You know, different patterns of Wonder Woman and bat girl it says bat girl here you know different ones might say different things because of the cut of the fabric or whatever super girl wonder girl and bat girl is on here that's who's on here so if you are a wonder woman bat girl super girl fan this is the bonnet for you which is satin lined on the inside with red satin listen if you're a wonder woman fan hold up hold up for you before you go to the site now i got another one for you that is this Wonder Woman. This is Wonder Woman, Supergirl, and Batgirl as well. This one is pink. This one is like more red, red and blue, red, blue, and yellowish. And this one is more pink. And uh, it looks like this, you know. And it also is lined with red satin underneath. So I'm gonna put this one on for you so you can see how it looks. You can style these bonnets in different ways how you choose once you get it on your head. You can you can rock it just like a bonnet. You can wear it as a hat. Like, you know, some people want to wear them as like a little hat. You know, it's winter time and stuff. Um, I know some people I know some people be leaving comments saying don't wear your bonnet in public. <laughs> Girl, not me. I wear my bonnet all up in the public eyes, okay? Okay, I really do. If I'm going out and I feel like I want to put on my bunny, especially my cute bunnies like this, girl, I am wearing it. And I advise y'all to wear it too so somebody can be like, ooh, girl, where you get that bunny from? You're going to be like, go, mom. Hey, here go her card. Yes, and I can wear this just like this. Mm, 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 ta -da. How you like me now? Can y'all tell I feel good? I feel good when I feel like I'm doing something for somebody else. You know, I feel, that's what I feel like. I really feel like I'm doing something for somebody else. But, um, hold on. Next bonnet up is this one. My daughters picked this one out. Jazzy and Pooby. They said they love, love, love this print. This is like a skull print with red. It's red and it has white and different colored skulls in it. You know, all those skulls have, you know, different multicolors in it, like blue and white and a little bit of yellow. And, and it's also lined with satin, with yellow satin underneath. And it fits my head the exact same way as the others. You know? Bonnets, bonnets are meant to cover up your hair, you know. You can wear your hat tucked in so it'll stay off of your shoulders, you know, to um, help.
help you retain lymph to keep your hair from brushing onto your shoulders or onto your cotton pillowcases because I know a lot of people like cotton pillowcases such as myself. I do sleep on cotton pillowcases because I don't like satin pillowcases. I just don't because I be slipping and sliding. I, mm, 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 nope. My next bonnet is Batman. Batman. Uh, and it has a yellow satin underneath. You know, some of these bonnets are very limited. I don't have but a certain number of each one. So, I suggest you go ahead and go into the side and get your bonnet now while they're available, okay? Some of the bonnets I won't be able to get back in stock. Some of the bonnets I will, you know. Oh, I like that. Oh, girl, you better, you better work. You better work all up in the Walmart, girls. You, girl, stop. Yes. <laughs> girl, stop, stop. You're killing me, you're killing me. Okay, next bunny up, I have this. I have two of these. Zebra print. I'm going to show you guys a difference right next to each other because um, they're both zebra, but they're both two different patterns of zebra. Very slightly slight difference, but they there is a difference. You know what I'm saying? So if you was the type of person that ordered two of these zebras, um, different kinds, you'll see the next two side by side. They're a little bit different from each other. So I'm going to show you this one. This one has black satin underneath. Okay. Now I'm going to show you this one. Which is a little bit more busy. You see what I'm talking about? It's a little bit more busy. Like when you put it on. It's a little bit, it's zebra, but it's a, I'm trying to figure out the words to say, but this one is a little bit more busy right here. Look at them side by side. This one is a little bit more just regular zebra, and this one is kind of like swirly zebra. So on this side, it's going to be listed as zebra swirl, zebra swirl print. This one's just going to be zebra print. You see what I'm saying? One of them got the swirls, one of them just kind of like straighter. So... Those two, same exact one, just different little, you know, got different little kick with the print in it. Okay, next up I have the polka dot print. These are black and white little, the polka dots are really small on this one. And this has black satin underneath. And it looks like this when you put it on as a hair girl. girl. I'm so proud of my hair, y'all. I'm so happy with my hair. I pray to God that he let me, you know, keep my hair. Oh, it was a depressing thing for my hair to fall out, you know. That's what started all this bonnet stuff when my hair started falling out. I needed something to cover it because it was kind of like I couldn't wear it in public and I didn't want to wear weaves and wigs because I was just sick of it. Um, weaves and wigs. So I started, make, I started making a couple of bonnets. People started, you know, complimenting me, and I just, you know, was like, hey, can I, can you make me a bunny? And it all started from there. That's the black polka dot bunny. Now, here is the next one it is a red polka dot bunny. And it looks, the polka dot's a little bit bigger than the black one, if you see that. A little bit bigger. And this one is red satin on the inside. And I'm gonna put this one on my head. You know. Honey, I've been wearing these bonnets faithfully. I wear these bonnets every single day. I have on one of my bonnets. Every time I go somewhere, everywhere I go, I have on a bonnet. Like this is nonstop with me. And you see my hair. You see what my hair been doing. My hair just been even after chemotherapy, radiation, you know stress depression my hair is you know it's bouncing back you know it went through a lot it went through a whole lot and it's bouncing back so i'm real happy about that you know i it's you know i, I still i done came a long way so anyways my next bonnet up you guys saw this one in the last haul but i'm going to show it to you again um because it's still going to be on my site this is a skull there's a lot of people out there that like skull print 
um because my husband is a big fan of the walking dead if you are a fan of the walking dead here's a skull print for you also along with this red one just my husband said if you, you know if you're a fan of the walking dead or something like that if you just like skull print these skull print um bonnets are you know be something that i would recommend for you if you like something skull now this one has glitter in it and this one's lined with yellow, and this one's lined with a gray satin underneath. You know, just like I said before, these bonnets can fit children as well as adults, depending on how much hair you got. Now, if you got a whole, whole, whole bunch of hair, well, I don't know. Now, that wig fit, you know, that wig fit under here just fine, so... It should be fine. They fit children. And I'm not talking about like little three, four-year-olds. I'm talking about, well, they might. I don't know. I need a three, four-year-old head around here, but I ain't got that. So, anyways, y'all, I feel the need to change my shirt for these bunnets because these bunnets, when I went to Florida, these bunnets sold first. This is one of my top sellers when I was in Florida because before I got my website running I went to Florida you know I was just practicing or I don't know what you call it pre like a pre-sale just to see what people like just to see what women like and you know that type of stuff so these ones with the shoes black and pink it has high heel shoes and it has little stripes of white excuse me it has little stripes of gray in it just like little frills and these bonnet um has a bunch of shoes so all my shoe loving ladies out there that like heels and stuff this bonnet is for you and feel free to wear it out in public because <laughs> i am um yeah i feel good today i i wasn't feeling good earlier i was kind of paranoid earlier because I was, my arms was hurting, and I remember way back when my arms was hurting, and I kind of just, I, I be spazzing out a lot, so, but, you know, I, I'm trying, I'm trying not to make any unnecessary doctor visit because I'm spazzing out, um, so, but anyways, this bonnet, y'all, y'all, I <laughs> And this one, they don't even take the cake. This one is lined with pink satin underneath. Now, there might be different shades of pink underneath these two. This bonnet is still going to be pink, but it might be a little lighter shade off or a lot darker shade. I'm not sure which one. But anyways, my next bonnet is this pink and white chevron print bonnet. Looks like this. And it is satin lined with pink underneath. You know? So, that one is a cute bonnet, and it looks like this when you put it on. I'm just going to put it on, you know. You know, if, you know, if you've been following me for a long time, if you've been following me for a long time, you have, you noticed I have recommended products to you guys, waste from waste trainers to virgin hair fertilizer, wild grow, do grow, whoever grow, I have never sold or tried to recommend you guys something that was mine, that was all mine. This will be the first thing that I ever review that's all mine, you know, and I feel good and I put my heart and my soul into this, you hear me? Suffering from neuropathy, pain in my fingers, pain in my feet, pain sitting down, pain in my hips. It's just, you know, from the radiation and, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot to deal with. This is one of, I'm going to go to this bonnet. This is a bonnet that's already on my site as well. This is just a large bonnet compared to the rest of the bonnets I don't have. This is the only one that I have in a big, large you know, and it's purple on the inside. It's a really pretty purple. And this one also has glitter in it. I don't think this camera do this bunny any like justice. It got a little glitter print in it. And um it's it fits on your head like this. And you can tell it's larger than the rest of the bunnies because you know how far it goes down. Um so but this is the only one I have in this size and it's very pretty. And um that's it for that bonnet now this last bonnet is the one that was everybody's favorite 
which is, it's almost like the shoe bonnet. I'm going to show you this side by side. It's almost like the shoe bonnet, but it's the purse and the shoes. It has purse, shoes, and perfume on it, and it has glitter. This one has glitter as well. I'm going to show you both of these straight up. You know, both of them side by side. So I'm going to put this one on. And all you ladies who is into, like, you know, perfume. Most of y'all should be into perfume shoes, purses. Everybody who follow me should be into that type of stuff. Um, this bunny is, like, was one of the biggest sellers also. And this is the last bunny, y'all. I'm just coming to tell y'all that my website is ready and fully stocked again. Um, it is goldencreations.webs.com Creations with a K. The link will be down in the description box. Also in the comment section. I will leave it there as well. So y'all get ready to go get a bunny on your market set. Go! Just remember you are helping out for a good cause. Um, Cervical Cancer Foundation for go mouth, I have my own foundation for my own self because I need it. You know, I need it. So, you know, who else? Who else gonna have a, a cause for the cause? But the person with the cause. You know, hey, I guess I just said that right. But anyway, y'all, thank you guys so much who already have made a purchase and feel free to make a purchase again. Share with your grandmama now, auntie now, all your cousins now, and uh, just share. Um, and that's all I got to say in this video, y'all. And I'll holler at y'all later. Bye.